At its heart, Stupid Cities is about the lived disabled experience of public space. A user experiences the work through the community workshops that we've run, very much a, a creative, playful, safe environment to talk about these issues. Also in a non-digital format, so we can just write on maps, we can also do it remotely. The second part is engaging with a map. The map is a way of seeing and geolocating microaggressions and specifically where they cluster. We classify the microaggressions by risk and by different temporary design or permanent design features. So there's a way of seeing where these things happen and this provides kind of like what I call a weather map of um, a city. So where we have a lot of data in Bath, you could see that there people have experienced a very high level of very dangerous microaggressions around a certain hotspot in Bath. And this may affect your journey and may be a guide to you to say, this is an area I don't want to go or I might want to avoid. My very small goal is to create a seed of a project that other people can take on in their cities all over the world and use this as a way of challenging the um, barriers that they experience that create disability and to feel like they have allies using the internet and connecting through a community of worldwide activists. But this is also input to councils and planning, as in if there's really bad problems and people are having bad experiences, this map and this data is also something for them to look at and consider how they might reevaluate how they do public planning.